how would you go about solving this? All right, let's have a look. Here we have the limit as u going to infinity of u over square root of u squared plus 1. If we put infinity to here and here, we will get infinity over infinity squares infinity plus 1 is still infinity, square root of infinity will give you infinity. And this is an indeterminate form. We cannot draw any conclusion yet. So what do we do though? Well, in this case, notice that on the top we have u to the first power. On the bottom, we have u squared, but that's inside of the square root. As u going to infinity, we can just divide the top and bottom by the highest power of u in this case. I'll show you another way to do it, but let's do the standard way first. Well, square root of u squared is the same as u to the first power, right, as u going to infinity. So I'm going to do this. This is the limit as u going to infinity. On the top, we have the u. On the bottom, we have the square root of u squared plus 1. I will divide the top by u to the first power, and I will also divide the bottom by u to the first power. And um, this, I need to bring that inside of the square root so they can somehow cancel. And in order to do that, notice that u, it's the same as saying u squared, and you take the square root for it. So for this right here, let me purposely write it as square root of u squared. Because this way, once they both have the square roots, we can put the u squared right here and right here. So we will have the limit as u going to infinity of, on the top it's just going to give us 1. On the bottom, open the square root, we have u squared over u squared, and then plus 1 over u squared. And of course, u squared over u squared is just equal to 1. So we can fix that. And now, let's just go ahead and plug in infinity into this u here. And notice that 1 over infinity squared is just the same as 1 over infinity. That will give us 0. So this will approach 0. So as u going to infinity, we just have 1 over square root of 1. And square root of 1 is 1. So all in all, we just have the answer equal to 1. And that's it. Now, here's a quick way to do it. When u is approaching infinity and we have a quotient, we can just compare the dominating part of the top and also the bottom. By the dominating part, I mean the highest power of our variable in this case. So of course, we have u to the first power on the top. On the bottom, we have this, u squared instead of the square root. Well, square and square root cancel, you really just get u. And in this case, you have to be careful because u is going to pass infinity. So you just get positive u. If this is going to negative infinity, the u output will be negative u, but you can check out another video for that. Here though, we are just looking at u over u, and the answer is just equal to 1. And you can finish this in like 2 seconds. You can do this in my class, and if your instructor wants you to do this, then definitely do this. And before I go, I just want to mention, if you want to use Lapita's rule for this one, you will realize something weird that's going to happen. You can try that, and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and let me know. That's it.